What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys some big time damage. We got ourselves a huge power Azumarill team for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to Azumarill, I feel like day after day, I start liking this Pokemon more and more. It is a fairy and water type Pokemon, which is actually a really solid typing, and it has the ability huge power, which actually doubles its attack stat. So, like I said, we're here to do big time damage with it. Cannot wait to use Azumarill. Zumarill is holding the Assault Vest to make it a bit more bulkier on that special defensive side. And then its moveset is phenomenal. You got Liquidation for big time stab damage. You got Aqua Jet for first and priority. Play Rough for another big time hitting stab move. And then you have Ice Spinner for not only coverage, but to destroy terrains, which is such a good move. Definitely round of applause for Game Freak for making that move. I really do like it considering terrain is just such a huge part of competitive. It's a nice little way to get rid of terrain. But its team also features another cool Pokemon. It has Espathra. Now I use Espathra like in earlier seasons of scarlet and violet but i haven't used it in like recent seasons so it's gonna be fun to use it's got speed boost which is an elite ability with the focus hash it's got lumina crash dazzling gleam it also has pounce and protect solid pokemon all around espathra definitely a good pokemon our final four pokemon on today's team features bex caliber golden go incineroar and galarian wheezing Incineroar doing Incineroar things. I don't even need to explain it. Golden Go, a big time special attacker with the choice specs. Bax Calibur is going to be a speedy physical attacker with the choice scarf. And Weezing's pretty much just like a niche Pokemon. It's got Levitate, which everybody thinks it's going to have a... Uh, what is that one? The one where it takes away the abilities. I, I forget what it's called. Neutralizing Gas. But this one actually has Levitate, so it can actually do some work. Dazzle Gleam, Sludge Bomb, Haze to get rid of stat changes and protect. So a lot of people are going to see Galarian Weezing. They're going to think, hey, no abilities. But instead, it's Rock and Levitate with the Rocky Helmet. So going to be a very niche Pokemon, but I like it on this team. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right-hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing huge power Azumarill. First match coming at you guys, and it is a brand new season, which means we're sitting 0-0. It's time to get back into Master Tier. We're going up against a Hisuian Samurai team with Weavile, who's a speedy physical attacker who can also fake out. They have Golden Go, Gastrodon, Ursaluna in the Blood Moon form, and last but not least, Intimidate Arcanine. Now, I love Azumarill here, but I feel like they're going to Intimidate me turn one, so I might just actually bounce back with an Intimidate with Incineroar, which honestly wouldn't be all that bad. I think that's going to be my play. Now, I like Espanther here, but to be honest, I don't want to get intimidated either. So, I don't know. I don't know. We could go Thermal Exchange. Boy right here, which is great. Not too bad. I don't know. We have a lot of physical attackers, so I might just want to go like Choice Specs. Gold to go alongside with Arcanine. Or not Arcanine. Instant Roar. Yeah, I do like that with Azumarill in the back end. And last but not least, we got to have a way to kind of deal with that Gashadon. And I don't really have like a grass move. But I'm kind of leaning towards either Bex Calibur or uh, S Path right here. Hmm. I mean, you got two Dark types. Probably Choice Scarf. Yeah, Choice Scarf Bex Calibur is definitely going to be the better option. I like it, especially as like a late game Pokemon. If it's your last Pokemon and it turns into 1v1, you can just pick the best move to choice into. So it's going to be nice, especially because they kind of have some faster Pokemon. I like it. All right, so let's see who they're going to end up leading here. I maybe still should have bled. Azumarill because even with the Intimidate drop like Liquidation just does such a big chunk of damage It would have been nice, but I don't know Incineroar is just goaded for a lead. It's just a goaded lead What you got? What you rocking here? It's gonna end up being Samurott and Weavile so double dark gonna come out here not looking too good for my boy gold to go double dark types um fake outs ready to rock and he's probably just going to fake out Incineroar, correct? So I could honestly just hard swap Incineroar if I want to. Maybe like Azumarill here with the fairy typing. That is something I am going to end up doing. So I'm going to hard swap into you. And I might just pop and make it rain. Or I could just go into a Thunderbolt. I know you're sashed. I know you're sashed for sure. Go Terra Steel, make it rain. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring you down to Sash and just deal with you later. Because I might pop out, back out here with an Intimidate next turn. So I don't mind lowering my special attack stat, choicing into this, bringing Weavile down to Sash. We know you're faking out. But one of my favorite shinies ever, Shiny Azumarill. It looks so good. It's a gold. It's a gold Azumarill. It's like a yellow mixed with gold, but it, you guys see it. It's gold for sure. For sure. It's just one of my favorite shinies of all time. It's so dope looking. Like, it just totally changes this color. Look at it. Just chilling there. Fake out is going to find that slot. Which we've seen coming. Ceaseless Edge gonna rock there, which we terrestrialize to kinda not KO us. 
And our spikes are on the field, which is okay. It's not that bad for us. He is life or make it rain is going to pop. This is definitely going to bring Weavile down to Sash. And how much damage are we doing to... Ooh, this is good. I can Aqua Jet. I can Aqua Jet, but who? Who do I Aqua Jet? Who do I Aqua Jet? We got to Aqua Jet the Weavile. We have got to Aqua Jet the Weavile. So just in case he swaps, we probably are just going to go for it. Well, we're choosing to make it rain. So I'm going to send it. There's a chance you do swap as well. And yep, there's a swap. <laughs> I was going to say, make it rain is definitely your best option. To just terra boost it, all that good stuff. And Gastron's going to fly out your... Oh, that's huge for Storm Drain purposes. That's really huge for Storm Drain purposes. Weavile, uh, what are you going for? Close combat, maybe? Oh, no, we don't like that. Knockoff's going to fly out. We should soak this. We do soak it, which is big time news. Knock it off my choice specs. Not terrible, but make it rain going to launch here. And how much damage are we doing here? Negative five to Gashon. Now Gashon's boosted on special, uh, uh, yeah, special attack right now. Probably want to swap my gold and go. Depending on who they go into, because we do outspeed. Actually, we don't outspeed the. We outspeed the Gashon, not the, not the Samurai. So we still have Incineroar. So if they go into a physical attacker, I really don't mind just going straight into Incineroar and saving our gold and go. We don't have the choice specs anymore, which I do realize. And Azumarill might have to be like a powerhouse Pokemon to start getting rid of this Gastrodon. But I told you guys, I, I said it even earlier when we were picking teams, it's just like, we need a way to take out Gastrodon. I mean, I do have two choice specs, um, Bex Calibur, which could work wonders late game. But that means I would have to clear out this right side. But out comes Ursa Luna, which is actually a little rough. But I'm going to go for a play rough. And start dealing some damage. I'm going to swap into Incineroar here. Even though I think you're going to go for like Hyper Voice here. Yeah, I'm cool, cool with this. I'd rather, I'd rather reset our, our Golden Go. Because I know there's a chance that you do go for Earth Power in this slot. There really is. But I'd rather reset this uh, that special attack stat. I know Intimidate's not going to do anything. But Incineroar is just a good swapping for us. I'd rather sacrifice him than anybody else. If that happens, we can't use Liquidation, which really hurts the soul. Vacuum Wave is going to fly, and that's going to do some damage. That comes through. Play Rough's going to follow behind, and it almost does half. We kind of needed to do half. He's going to end up yawning, and now might be a good time for us to swap here, because I'm definitely just going to fake out the what's it called. I'm definitely just going to fake out the Ursaluna here. Definitely want to fake out the Ursaluna. So I'm going to swap back into Golden Go. Yeah, just so I don't go to sleep. And then just put a fake out right into this slot. So I can see even a double protect to, to put this Azumarill to sleep. My only problem is, like, I can't use my water moves because Storm Drink Ashdown is just chilling on the field. But I'm sending this. I'm sending this right now. Going into Golden Go. Spikes. Did Spikes kill me? Cool, it doesn't. And yeah, we're going to probably see a double protect here. If not, we get fake out and we have our... Golden Go ready to rock again, which is great news for us. But we can vacuum wave. You can obviously vacuum wave me. Which is probably what's going to happen. He's going to vacuum wave, but we have a shot at KO in him. Which is big time for us. Which is big time for us. So I'm going to go for the Make It Rain. Actually, I'd rather just go for like the Shadow Ball into the Gastron slot. And go for the Flare Blitz KO, right? Gotta go for the Flare Blitz KO. We have got to go for the Flare Blitz KO. So there's the vacuum wave. Totally fine. Looking for the Flare Blitz KO. Chance our Gastron is going to KO me. But turning this into like a 2v2 could work well for us. Alright, let's see what you're rocking here. Flare Blitz launching. How much damage are we doing? We do pick up the KO. That's huge. Alright. So we KO with Ursaluna. They're probably just going to go for a Scald or an Earth Power here. Like, I'm dead, most likely. If not, I'd be happy. You going for Yawn, maybe? I have Citrus Berry, which is good. Berry's going to pop out here. Perfect timing, too. But I still think we're dead. You're still plus one on special attack. Earth power. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. So 2v2. Gastron, I told you guys, this whole time would be a problem for us. It'd be a problem for us this whole time. But we got some fast Pokemon. Gastron could protect here, which is kind of annoying. Because I really want to double down into it. But we already know his Pokemon and what he has. We already know. I'm not too worried about this, uh... This, what's it called, though? This Samurott. I might just double down here. Or do I just get rid of Samrot?
What is my play? I really want a choice into Glade Brush. You know, I'm gonna go Glade Brush here, and I'm just gonna go play rough into here. That's gonna be my play. They still have Terra though, which kind of scares me. Right? Yeah, they still have Terra, which might pop out here. It might pop out here, but still, I think a play rough KOs Samurott regardless. I just don't want to double down a gash line and have it protect. Like that could just be a real bummer for us. And he's not gonna protect. But still, Glade Rush going to do a huge chunk of damage. Ceaseless Edge going to launch. It's going to do double damage. And that's going to KO us. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just need Gaston to not KO my... My Azumarill, right? That's all I need. That's all I need. Player off going to fly. It is going to pick up the KO. And all I need is for you not to pick up the KO. And then I should be able to play off the victory. Even with leftovers and protect here. I might have spoke too soon. You yawned me? And that Ceaseless Edge KO'd with a double damage? Oh no. He's so protecting here. There's really nothing I could do. There's really nothing I could do. I got the AV, which is good. We got, we got, we just gotta wake up pretty much, right? We just gotta wake up. Oh no. Oh, don't tell me I lose to a yawn. Don't tell me I lose to a yawn. Don't tell me I lose to a yawn. Might have been better off just like going into like high horsepower, but or even icicle spear. Icicle spear might have been better for us. Might have been better for us. Oh no, can I wake up? I mean, obviously we're not gonna wake up this turn. I'm slumped. I'm slumped. What are you going for? How much damage is doing? Earth power? Plus one. We can survive another one, which is good news. Leftover's gonna pop out here. I'm still hoping a player off can KO. I'm still hoping a player off can KO. I wonder if you protect here or give me a chance to wake up. Wake up, Azumarill. Just wake up. Let's go, Azumarill. Pick up the KO. Pick up the KO. Let's go. I knew I wanted to showcase you for some reason. A one turn sleep, I never get those. But my girl over here, Azumarill, clutching up for us in match number one. Moving on to our second match, looking to showcase Azumarill even more. That Pokemon killed it in match number one. We're going up against a Hydreigon team, which means Azumarill probably coming out here. They also have Incineroar, they got Porygon 2, they got Ursaluna, they got Amoongus and Goldigo. So they can easily pop Trick Room and really start to get after it. Um, what do I want to do here? I think Azumarill is just a solid lead all around. I mean, Intimidate from Incineroar kind of holding me back again, just like it did it in the last match. So maybe I just want to go into Incineroar of my own, just so we can fake out any like Trick Room users, such as Porygon 2. And honestly, Golden Ghost is such a solid lead. It really is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end up going same lead with Azumarill in the back end. And last but not least, we gotta go back to Calibur again. I think it just works out ten times better for us. Or I could go in with you. I could go in with Weezing. Levitate Weezing with Sludge Bomb, Dazzle, and Gleam. Doesn't sound bad. It doesn't sound bad. No, you know we're going same squad. We're going same squad. I like it. I like it. We're one to know with them. We gotta keep them rolling. Let them stay hot. Let them cook. Let's do it. Let's do it. Even though Weezing probably could have been pretty good, because if they pop Trick Room, Ursaluna can really thrive out with all of its ground moves. But with Levitate, we could really throw a curveball their way. I could really throw a curveball. So let's see. What you got cooking? It's gonna be Hydreigon and Gold to go. Wow. Like Azumarill would have been a decent lead here. Would have been a great lead. So they're gonna go into both of these guys. Um, I'm gonna intimidate. They're both special attacking. My best play would probably be instead of faking out, maybe just make it raining. Could rip a shadow ball here. I think Hydreigon's got to protect or something. I feel like just doubling down in the slots is going to be my play. Hydreigon has a high chance of protecting here. He's just going to go for a snarl, which is fine. I actually do a ridiculous amount of damage. Maybe I should have faked it out. Maybe I should have faked out. You get a crit too on my, uh, I think it was my Incineroar you actually crit it. Special attack drops flies. My Shadow Ball is actually going to come out here first, which is good news. It is Choice Spec. And it leaves you on one? Your Focus Ash. What Golden Go is Focus Ash? I need to know. Luckily, you're Nasty Platinum and we're doubling down. So that's a not a bad turn for us. That is not a bad turn for us. Flare Butt's going to KO. And the reason I used Flare Blitz over Knockoff there was just in case you wanted to Terrasilize and like Steel Typing. We could have got rid of it that way. Alright, that's not a bad turn. I take some recoil damage, just a little bit, and I might want to try to Parting Shot out of here. 
Looks like Snarl's doing a decent amount of damage, but not enough to KO Golden Go this turn. Which I like to see. Sinor now comes out of here. He's gonna attack. He's gonna drop my attack. So now I could honestly hard swap until I get Sumero. And save my gold to go. Or I could just rip another. You know what? Uh, now nah, I'm choosing the Shadow Ball. I'm gonna swap it to a Zumero here. And if I can get off a parting shot, I'd rather send it right into this Hydreigon slot. So swapping the Golden Go here, resetting my choice specs, resetting my special attack stat, and we're going into the big dog, Azumarill. Big dog, Azumarill. Earth Power, we're going to launch in this slot. We should soak this. We're going to bury up, which is good news. No fake out coming through here, which is good. But they might just want to go for a foil blitz in this slot. So Citrus Berry popping, Incineroar doing Incineroar things, and he's going to go for a knockoff and take off my AV. Not my AV. Not my AV. Parting shot launches, and I can bring back out Golden Go if I want to. I could bring back out Golden Go. A lot of different options. Could bring back out Golden Go. I could go into Choice. Yeah, I think I'm going to go into Choice Scarf right here. And the reason I want to do that is because they don't know I'm Choice Scarfed. And I can just outspeed the Hydreigon. They're probably sitting here like, hey, like I outspeed this back to Calibre, but in reality, I'm outspeeding you. And I can pop a Liquidation in this slot, try to get rid of Incineroar. And at the same time, just go into Icicle Spear and just try to KO this guy. Unless I hit like twice with it, but I think we're fine with that. I think we are fine with that. They can't fake me out. They could swap Incineroar. I don't think we're seeing terrible. We already KO the Golden Go. Playing pretty good here. And they're going to swap the Hydreigon. So Hydreigon's going to get the withdrawal. Might end up seeing a Terrestrialization from Incineroar. But they're going to go into Amoongus, which is totally fine. Icicle Spear still ripping, still doing nice damage. But we'll see the Terra type pop out from Incineroar. Most likely Grass or Water. I feel like they're its two best Terra types. And it's going to be Ghost, which I, I don't mind. I can still do a nice chunk of damage with this uh, Play Rough. That's fine by me. We're not Play Rough. Liquidation. So Icicle Spear launching. How many times are we going to hit? That's the real question. That's the real question. I don't have loaded dice. Three times. Alright, I'll take three. I'll take three. I'll take three. Parting shot's gonna launch into my Azumarill, and you're forced to go back into Hydreigon. And I'm not going for Play Rough. Why do I keep thinking we're going for Play Rough? Why do I keep thinking that? I should keep thinking that. I should keep thinking that. But the thing is, they still don't know I'm choice. They, they simply just still don't know I'm choice. They still don't know I'm choice. They still have no clue. So Ice Spinner should still KO you, and then we can just go into Icicle Spear here. I don't mind being minus one. They might even hard swap back into Incineroar. Go for Rage Powder. Backscalp, we're going to KO you, and then Ice Spinner's going to slide. That's fine. Icicle Spear launching. Bye-bye, Moongi. And Ice Spinner, how much damage are you going to do? You're minus one, but you're huge power. It's not sad, but it's super effective. See, Draco Meteor's gonna launch. You're minus two for the rest of the match. That's good news. And I'll take that all day. So I can just hard swap into my instant war. Alright, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. Ice Spinner. How much damage are you ripping here? How much damage are you ripping? It's a good chunk. That's a great chunk. That's a great chunk. Um. Thing is, I'd rather swap into like instant war. So I might just want to go gold and go here. Yeah, now's a good turn for us to actually go in the Golden Go because they, they would rather, they wouldn't fake out this slot. So, minus two special attack onto, onto what's it called? Onto Hydreigon. Minus two attack onto my Azumarill, but now it's just going to be a good turn for us to swap here. And probably just rip a Shadow Ball, right? Or do I just get rid of what's it called? I think we should go for Make It Rain and get rid of Hydreigon. That's my play. That be my play. Now I still have Terra, don't I? I don't think I sent Terra. Which is good. I haven't sent Terra yet. But I kind of like where we're sitting with minus one attack on Incineroar and minus two special attack onto Hydreigon. Not bad. Not bad. So we end up intimidating. He's going to go for the fake out in that slot. Good swap on our end. And Dark Pulse is going to launch into this slot, and we end up soaking thanks to that thing being minus two. Make It Rain is going to finish off Hydreigon, do good damage onto Incineroar, and that pretty much wraps up the game. 
But a second match, swapping in perfectly. This Azumarill team is killing it. We're killing it right now. We're going to be 2-0. We are going to be 2-0. So we'll just go for a knockoff this time around. Pop another Make It Rain. They probably canceled the match. Is that a correct statement or are they going for it? Seems like they're going for it. They are going for it. Make It Rain should just finish them off. And it does. GG's. We're 2-0. Moving on to our third and final match. We'd love to grab ourselves a perfect record with Azumarill. Now, Azumarill been going crazy today. We definitely want to bring it in here. And I, honestly, I might end up leaving it. A Pokemon that we do have to watch out for is going to be Rillaboom, but we have the Steel Terror type, which actually works decently well up against that. So I'm going to go Azumarill in here for our lead. I could lead Incineroar, but I mean, Rain Squad, Archaludon, looking a little scary. I got Choice Scarf. Boy, right here, I could end up going into like Espathro, which honestly, I kind of can get down for. I like Espathra. We haven't even used it yet, so I'm down to go Espathra. We are going to bring back Excalibur. And last but not least, do we go Incineroar or Golden Go? I think Golden Go just fits the scheme really well. Especially with all of its different moves with the choice specs. I'm with it. So, using Espathra here and Azumarill for our lead. Looking for a win here in match number 3. Looking to go perfect. 3-0, we're looking for. 2-0, we're going crazy right now. Azumarill has been phenomenal. It just hits so hard, even while it's intimidated. It's just real nice. But they have Rain, which could actually benefit us like a zoom roll in the rain it's like an absolute truck on top of a truck that's carrying a truck like three trucks in one they're gonna go arch loot on the whimsicott probably most likely set up a tailwind here s path is gonna come out here not bad shiny s path looks dope as well i think from here we just we just play rough up i was gonna steal terror but i don't want to uh we're just gonna play rough you and we might just double down with Illumina crash I think it is special attacking, which is pretty good. I just go like Psychic Terra. Hmm. We go for a Pounce too, but I think we just double down into into you and get rid of him. This could be a swap into uh. This could definitely be a swap into Pelipper. It is gonna be a swap into Pelipper. So Pelipper's gonna get the swap. Uh, Zoomer will probably dying out here to an Electro Shot, which is why I was thinking about Electric Terraing. But honestly, we should outspeed him. So, I mean, Pelper could just die out here, which is good news for us. No. We don't outspeed this Arch Ludon. Oh, man. This get ugly. We have the AV, which is nice. We do have the AV. AV could clutch up here. Because you're pretty bulky, Azumarill. You're, you're in, like in 200 HP. And you do soak. That's actually a big time soak. That's actually a big time soak. But play rough missing? Come on, man. I don't need that. I don't need that. I definitely don't need that. Oh, man. Play rough missing. That really hurts. I don't want to stamina boost this thing. That's that's the problem I'm sitting at. That is the problem I'm sitting at. Is there a chance that Aqua Jet can KO? Probably not. I'm going to go for the play rough here. We're gonna go for the Lumina Crash. Oh man, that really hurts. And he's gonna end up swapping Paloops. Oh man. Really hurts how he missed that player off there. He's gonna go back into Whimsy. So Whimsy's gonna come out here. We're gonna deal some decent damage. And Electro Shot gonna fly and finish off for Azumarill. Oh man. This thing is just. This thing's getting out of hand. I, I feel like dealing with Archaludon is so hard. It really is, especially like, like from my standpoint, when it, where I use different teams every day. So like, I don't always have a counter for him, and it seems like we don't have a counter for him right now. <laughs> um, Excalibur's probably your play. What do I want to do here? We go back, Excalibur. Caliber backs out here. I still have Focus Ash. Body Press is looking scary from him. But he's not boosted yet. That's the, that's the thing. We do have Ground Terror, which I am going to send to try to deal damage into that. On top of that, I think I am just going to rip a Dazzle Gleam. Because Dazzle Gleam should bring Wimscott low enough for me to be able to KO it with Illumina Crash next turn. But yeah, we're going Ground Terror right now. Hopefully he's going for Electro Shot into that slot. I would really like that. But Ground Terror, high horsepower with the choice specs. I mean, you could tailwind and probably outspeed me. But I'm hoping this could just do a huge chunk of damage. Tailwind does fly. That's fine by me. A little bit of tailwind action. 
And Dazzle Gleam is going to launch. It is going to actually stamina boost him beforehand. I didn't think about that. I didn't even think he would be faster. High horsepower launching. You are now plus one on defense. And we just got like a crit here. Mm, still soaking really well. Super well. The stamina boost going crazy. Flash Cannon's going to fly through here. We are able to soak, which is good news. We're hoping S Path can just outspeed. And then we can outspeed him again with the high horsepower. So I'm going to launch a high horsepower. And I'm just going to go Lumina Crash. Look to KO Wimscott. So if, if this turn works out the way I think it can, this could be big because high horsepower. I want to say Terrastalize, could KO, or we could pick up a double KO and be sitting in a decent position. I mean, missing that player off early on onto that Pelipper, a little rough, but we'll deal with it. And yeah, there's the Terra. I was going to read that and just go for like an Icicle Spear, or like a Glaive Rush. Glaive Rush probably would have been the play, unless this is Fairy. And it is Fairy, okay. So I still have gold to go, which is huge now. That's big time news for us. That's big time news. As fast as out speed, the speed boost goes crazy, and Lumina Crash is KOing. I think they have to go after my back's caliber. I really do think that. And high horsepower launch. Just give me a crit. Just do me a favor here. Just give me a crit. No, you're soaking that all day. He's so bulky. He's a bulky little boy. And I think he just flash cans again and gets rid of me. No, he goes for Draco Meter. I'm cool with that. I got Sash. I got the Sash, baby. The Sash comes out here. Obviously. S Panther is fastest on the field. Now, honestly, S Panther can just take out Arch Ludon if I want to. And I think you go back into Pelper. And you go Ursaluna. Now, Ursaluna is a scary little Pokemon. Ursaluna is scary. But do I go for. I'm going to go for Icicle Spirit. Oh, I'm choosing. To, mm, hate that I'm choice. Hate that I'm choice. We're going to have to rip high horsepower. He's going to double KO me. Man, I hate this game. I'm trying to think any ways. I mean, you got Hyper Voice. That's the problem here. I think I swap back Excalibur into Golden Go. Yeah, let's swap back Excalibur. Let's swap back Excalibur into Golden Go. Chance are you going for Hyper Voice. And let's Lumina Crash look to KO this Arch Ludon. Because if I can reset this choice Scarf, that's really my only shot at win this game. Because High Horsepower is not going to do nothing to Pelipper. Lumina Crash is going to KO you. And if I had to guess, you're going for Hyper Voice, right? you got to be going for Hyper Voice. And then Tailwind should end, I hope. And maybe we can just outspeed. Let's see. Yeah, there's the Hyper Voice. So, okay, cool. So, good swap on my end. S Panther doing work. Absolute work. That speed boost really came in clutch. And now they're sitting here with no Terra. Well, either do we. But... I could Icy Wind to outspeed if I want to. And is that the play? Do I Icy Wind into... Do I Icy Wind into Make It Rain? What? Do you still have Tailwind? You still have Tailwind. Oh, that just got ugly. So I don't have Protect. We're going to have to Icy Wind now. We're gonna have to Icy Wind. Hopefully we outspeed. There's someone who's just gonna protect. This could be good for us. This could be good for us. If Bax Calibre outspeeds, it does. Now we need Golden Go to be able to outspeed here. Because if Golden Go could pick up the KO. Oh my lord. Did it work? Are you slower now? Hold up. Give me a second. This is Choice Spec. I know it's not very effective. But Choice Spec, Stab, Make It Rain. Come on now. Come on, I'm here. I'm here. I came to play. I came to play. I came to play. We're choosing the Icy Wind, though. That's the only problem. That's the only problem, but I think we needed it there. We don't have Protect. So I'm choosing the, <laughs> the Icy Wind, make it rain. Keep sending it. Keep sending it. Icy Wind launch. How much damage is Icy Wind doing? Respectable. Respectable damage. That is respectable damage. Make it rain launching. And we get a crit. Is that, is that the crit I've been asking for? Not even. We just pick up a KO. Awesome. So 3-0 perfect record. We killed it with today's team. 
There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Azumarill taking control of ranked regulation H. This Pokemon is phenomenal. From its phenomenal typing to its phenomenal ability to its phenomenal moveset, you cannot go wrong with this Pokemon. It's just so strong all around, bulky enough to take shots, strong enough to do big time damage. What more can you guys ask for in a Pokemon? But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive video. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.